Can I just say, I love this award. I was hoping that when I get the Collaborators Award that I could get some weird version of this. I wanted to get this one. Uh, that was really, really groovy, watching that uh, montage. And it's really groovy to be here with all of you all. Um, one of the things that's always been kind of interesting to me is uh, I've always taken the costumes in my films very seriously. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I made such a big deal about putting all the characters in Reservoir Dogs in these black suits. I thought that would be a really interesting thing. And there also was this weird aspect about it, though, especially because people have been wearing black suits that often, except for when you're at funerals or weddings or things like that. You know, every guy looks better in a black suit. They just kind of do. Um, and by the time the 90s rolled around, if you wore a black suit, it kind of looked gangster. It kind of looked a little badass. I even remember watching uh, at some point, like a couple of years just before I did uh, Reservoir Dogs, um, the Jerry Lewis movie, The Patsy. Which, if you remember that, there's like a whole group of comedy writers that have this famous comedian and he dies, and they gotta turn Jerry Lewis into the great comedian guy. And it's like made up of people like Keenan Wynn and whatever. But they're all wearing black suits because it's the 60s. But they look like a bunch of fucking gangsters actually bossing Jerry Lewis around. And I thought that was really, really, really neat. Well, Betsy Hyman's here, who actually did that film with me, as well as, as, well as Pulp Fiction. And something you might not know, it was very interesting, that was my very first time working with a costume designer, and Betsy was like a real big deal. So we were really like lucky to have her. So we were, she was actually doing us a favor by doing Reservoir Dogs. And I remember like, I'm describing the black suits, and describing the black suits, and one of the things that she said that you probably don't know about, but next time you watch the movie, if you ever do, think about it. She goes, you know, Quentin, I think it would look better if they were wearing black jeans as opposed to suit pants. I think when it comes to the tops, we can go into any vintage store and, and you know, get a cool black suit with the right kind of lapels, black jacket. But I think they'll look better and trimmer in, in a way that you're going to like to cut better in black jeans. And no one will ever know that they're wearing black jeans. They're just going to assume they're wearing a suit. And she was right. <laughs> They look terrific that way. I have to remember they're wearing black jeans when I watch the film. Um, but part of the thing about it, though, was I was always attracted to the costumes in movies. I was always attracted to the costumes that they described in novels. I was always attracted to the costumes that comic book artists drew when they drew, com when they drew uh, graphic art. And I wanted my movies to have that kind of uh, uh, effect. One thing that's really nice about getting this award is I've endeavored for that for 20 years, and none of my costume designers have ever been nominated for an Oscar. Because I guess I don't do period movies that have ball scenes that have a hundred extras in them. However, I will say, we haven't got any Oscar nominations between us. And we don't have any Golden Globe nominations between us. And we don't even have any Costume Guild nominations between us. When it comes to Betsy on Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, when it comes to Mary Claire on Jackie Brown, when it comes to uh, uh, Kumiko and Kat on um, Kill Bill, when it comes to Nina on the Boulevard de la Mort, some of you know it as Death Proof, uh, when it comes to Anna in Glorious Bastards, Sharon on Django Unchained, and Courtney, when it comes to, um, what was the last one? Uh, hey Filet. <laughs> we don't have any of those awards, but we do have something else. We have Halloween parties. <laughs> and for the last 20 years, I go to Halloween parties 
And I see a white guy and a black guy dressed as Jules and Vincent. I see a girl with blonde hair wearing a yellow jumpsuit with black trim. I see Asian and non-Asian girls playing, maybe it's inappropriate when they're non-Asian, playing go-go. I see any group of white guys hanging out. One year they're Reservoir Dogs, then they put a Lone Ranger mask on them and then they're the crazy idiots. I see Django's, I see, uh, I see me, I see, uh, uh, as you guys said, I see me sometimes in a, in a bloody wedding dress, sometimes with a syringe, sometimes without a syringe. And frankly, to tell you the truth, I've always considered that maybe the greatest award, because that means the costumes have pierced the consciousness of the audience. And they now have purchase in that period of time. And that is absolutely what's important. And so with the names of those great collaborators that I just said, and with that in mind, it makes it so incredibly sweet to get this from the Costume Designer Guild. I really, really, really appreciate that. I appreciate you for appreciating what me and my lovely collaborators have done. And what a great night. Thanks a lot.